welcome back to my channel. Look, it's me, Bareface. You know, do you know what that means? Do you know what this means right now? This means we're going to do a talk through video, okay? So get excited, get ready, because it is about to happen right now. This is the first time I've been filming a talk through in a very long time, so bear with me. Um, no one is home right now, so I'm very excited. So why not? Let's just start it. Now, I'm going to be using the Cabral Pomade by Benefit. My number one pomade that I've been using lately. I've just been really, really liking it. I always was a fan of the Anastasia ones, but I just like recently have been like loving this. I'll just use this tart brush actually right here. Because it is spooly on the end, it's actually a lot easier to use, so why not? I do like the thickness of the brows in the winter, fall area. Maybe because the looks are a little bit more, you know, interesting. So I just feel like pomades or just more for me in that time. But again, I've used pomades like all the time, but I feel like in the summer, pomades are just a little too thick for me. If that makes sense. I haven't done a talk through in a while, so I might sound a little crazy or just a little off, but I apologize because I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. So I'm just filling in any sparse areas. This brow was always my favorite. I wonder why. It just always went on much smoother than um, I was supposed to say than any of my other brows, than this brow. I don't know why, it just does. So I'm just pushing that up and in. And because I feel like I already have so much product on the brush, I don't really want to waste it. And then, yeah, just pushing up. And I feel like you still have that little, like, I like that little sparseness in the front. So I just comb it through. And I am pretty happy. I always check the sides because it's funny because when you're fully frontal on a mirror, you think that, like, it looks pretty full. Like, right now I'm looking in my camera and it looks really full. But, like, I'm looking to the side and this one's super full, but, like, this one's not. So I always feel like you have to make sure you look all at all angles of your brow to make sure it's filled in every area. I feel like that actually happens a lot with my pencils. The pencils look really filled in when it's like from the front angle, but when it's from the sides, you actually can see some sparse areas. So now to set my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is my favorite. Um, I've used Benefits, Benefits, it's great too. I just always run to this one. I don't know, I've used it for years, maybe that's why it's just like a comfort zone kind of deal. But I feel like this one and Benefit has the best brow gel. Um, okay, so now to conceal and to prime the eyes, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, it has been trending pretty much everywhere, so I feel like you guys would hear of it. So I'm just going to put it a little on my hand and make a little fart noise. I'm five. And then I'm going to use the E62 brush from Sigma and we are going to, you know, cut those brows, put them in order and shape in order. And then bring it down. So I always like to kind of shape the brow first, bring it out and then kind of bring it down. This base is really good. It's very thin. It's not drying. That is one of the big reasons that I use it. And I actually really like it because it's a multitasker because I can actually use it to clean up the brow area and, you know, not have to go back in with the concealer and, you know, do the whole jazz. So I feel like it's like a two-in-one because it's like that color that I like to put under my brow. So works out well for me. I'm going to take a crown C512 and just kind of buff that out. And then I'm going to do the other eye. I feel like a talking video is a good way to come back to like 
filming normally again, you know what I mean? Because I feel like that's all I really did was do talkthroughs. I feel like that was my main thing was talkthroughs. Pretty much. When the, in the beginning at least. I feel like then I moved on to doing voiceovers because it was a lot easier with my schedule. So I can't promise you talkthroughs all the time, but I will promise them enough of them so you guys can like get to know me again, you know? Because I feel like talkthroughs you do really get to know the person, and you get to know the feels. I know you guys do know me if you have been subscribed to me for a while, but you know, I miss talking to you guys and actually having that connection and it's like doing this kind of brings me back to where I was at, you know? And it was cool, like it's just, it's just cool to like remember like, cause I always watch like my old videos just to see like what I was doing and you know, I rem I'll have like flashbacks of like where I was that day, what I did that day what I was going through like it's just interesting and I feel like YouTube was always a really big distraction for me from like the everyday work life and personal issues and like all that kind of stuff so I just like f miss it I miss just like having a schedule and like having that motivation to just play again and be artistic and all that stuff all right so we're gonna move on we're gonna be using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. I didn't even get to swatch this because it's just so gorgeous that I didn't even want to touch it. Yeah, let's go on with that mustard color. I'm gonna take an E40 from Sigma. Right here, I'm gonna take an E40 and that mustard color. And we are just gonna go in. But yeah, no, this is really pretty already and I feel like it's just going to be super smooth how i just blended this easily that is like legit and i'm gonna zoom you guys in more yeah like that's gorgeous and i kind of want to do a halo now that i see this i feel like i've never done a mustard halo oh it's so gorgeous and it blends like a dream that was really ugly let's Keep going into this crease back and forth and just blending that out. That is just so lovely. So I always feel like I miss the camera sometimes when I'm doing this. And I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit. I have to say one thing, even with these little palettes, um, Huda has been really well with her consistency she's done really well with that i feel like i'll give you a big, a big example i feel like a lot of companies that make little palettes or travel palettes the consistency doesn't add up with the regular palettes that they put out there so it's really nice to see that the consistency goes along with the travel palettes and you know these little collections that she she has i really 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 love that Okay, so I'm going to take a Samey 2.3, which is, Samey is like one of my old favorite brands um, that I've used for a very long time. They were one of my first like PR boxes that I've gotten. So if you have not checked out Samey, I really recommend them. They're probably one of the best blending brushes that I've ever used. They have like a full, you know, they have a whole bunch of brushes, but their eye brushes are amazing, you guys. So I'm going to take this um, pale orange right here and we're going to go in again in the same area but kind of not as far out oh my god this is so pretty i don't know if like the camera does it justice and i hate when that happens but it is stunning but it's funny because i feel like fall is like a huge huge time for makeup and i love seeing all the new products and it gets me really excited to like play with things again and just like just get back into this kind of stuff again you know it's like I've had a cra I had a crazy summer I was pretty busy with work um you guys don't know I am a full makeup I am a full makeup artist I'm a full-time makeup artist um that is my full-time job I don't work for a company I work for myself um so I have a bunch of private clients knock on wood thank god I'm very humble for what I do it is just sometimes a lot 
when I was working, I was like, damn, I just want to go out and like have fun. So I would, you know, literally work my ass off and then I would, you know, do that. I would go have fun. So I feel like fall and winter are coming. I'm so excited for that, actually. I'm going to go in with this um, terracotta color. Same brush. And kind of do the same motions. Go back and forth. And just kind of darken things. I was going to do a halo, but I actually think I'm going to do a half a halo deal. If that makes sense. I actually don't even need this color as much as I thought I would. It is gorgeous though. I'm going to take this Morphe R39 brush. This little brush right here. I'm going to take that dark chocolate. And we're going to go on the outer corners. The outer V. And just kind of smudge that in there. Kind of starting on the lid. And then going up a little bit. And that is gorgeous. And then I'm just going to go in with the samey and just kind of soften the edges. Just like that. Just, yeah, how gorgeous is that? That's like a beautiful, crazy fall sunset, right? It's like super fall colors. But it's like gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I'm just going, I'm taking this E38 brush by Sigma. And just blending that orange, pale orange color that we were using before. And just kind of blending everything together. Just cut it, baby. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go in with the P. Louise base and cut our half crease. I'm going to use that E62 again because that just shapes my eye really well. I always like to do that trick. And just see where it should be. beautiful coppery gold and I'm using a crown C5110 for this I'm just going to pat it on there I'm sure I should probably use my finger for this I might if this doesn't you know work the way I want it to, but it's actually doing okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this like beautiful pink brown. I don't know how to describe that. It's just pretty. I just kind of blend that in there. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm just blend that in there. So that's gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Now I'm going to take that same me again and just kind of blend this out. Perfect. It's also what I really like about the P. Louise is that it doesn't make that weird casting when you're trying to blend everything back. And it just does a really, really great job in keeping it seamless. And that is another great thing that I have to say about this base. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D tattoo liner that I've just been obsessed with for forever. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that. And I'm just doing a wing. I 
Okay, so I just finished the liner. Um, we're gonna go in with some mascara. I've been using the Bad Gal Bang Lash by Benefit, and I've been really, really loving it. So let's zoom in. And I love this mascara just because it is super defining, which I feel like my lashes really need. And it just makes them look like super, super long, especially my bottom ones. Look at that difference, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so that's good. And then let's grab some lashes. Okay. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Gigi Bell Lashes in Sugar. You guys know these are like my favorites right now. So we're going to pop these babies on. And I want to really be able to see the shadow with this. So I feel like these lashes are good for that. Okay, so let's get into the face. And what I'm going to be using is, I already have a moisturizer on from before. So I'm going to use the Photo Finish Primerizer because I do feel like my skin's just a little dry. So I'm just going to put this all over the face. For foundation, I've been absolutely loving this. This is the Becca Skin Love Foundation. I'm in the shade Cafe, and I'm just going to Pump this on my hand. I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH03. And I'm just going to be blending that out. This is like a mix between a tinted moisturizer, I'd say, and a foundation because it has like that lightweight feel like a tinted moisturizer does, but it has more of a coverage of a foundation. So I really, really love what they did with this and they, how they really formulated this. It's just like, was a really interesting way to, I don't know, it's just a really interesting formula and consistency and I just love that it's like a little bit of both because I love the coverage that the foundation has and I love the feel that a tinted moisturizer has. So this was just like a brilliant idea on Becca's half. For concealer, I've just been I've been like obsessing over a whole bunch of different ones. Um, I'm gonna be mainly using the Laura Mercier in 3C. I've been loving the Flawless Fusion Concealer. I don't know if you guys have used it yet or tried it. I really, really recommend it. Um, I'm gonna be putting that as a triangle, pretty much. We're gonna be using this first. I don't know, I might not even need any more coverage in this, so. Yeah, and then I have a brand new little baby beauty blender right here waiting for me to open her. And I'm gonna go with this and I'll be right back. It's actually funny because I haven't used a beauty blender in a long time on myself. I use it on clients all the time. Um, I've just been, not lazy, but I've been like kind of experimenting with just brushes. Because to be honest, that's what I used to use all the time and, you know, I always loved that application. So, like, why not, you know, go back to basics? So I just wanted to see how I liked, you know, brushes for a little bit. And I just really did. They were, it was really fast, you know, when I had to, like, really run out. And, you know, it. the only thing that I have to say is, like, obviously the Beauty Blender or any kind of blending sponge is a little bit more, um... Seamless, I feel like, and maybe gives you a little bit more coverage, but besides that, you know, it was all good in the hood with the brushes, so. I'm going to use this NW45 Studio Fix Perfecting Stick. I used to use this all the time, so why not bring it back? Oh, it's a little orangey, but I think we could work it out. I should have got NW50. I think that's like probably the better color for me. I think I used this when I was like maybe a little lighter. I don't know. We'll see. And to blend that out, I'm going to use this brush by Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH07 from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab. And yeah, so let's just blend 
with that. And that looks pretty good. It's a little more on the natural side, which is fine because I did want to use bronzer anyway. So I am fine with that. You know, I'm trying to like get back into the groove of like other products that I used to be obsessed with. And this was one of them, so I just think I do need to get the NW50 because I really like the KKW one. I've been using that like non-stop, so I didn't want to use it again because I used it in my last video. So I don't want to like be too repetitive, but I do want to like try new products, bring back old products that I used to really love. And you know, just like not have the same kind of routine every time, you know what I mean? Because I do want to like try new things, like I said. Try new things, bring back some old things, but not be too repetitive if that makes any sense. What are you setting with the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Easy Bake Powder? I always use the Kat Von D, but I've been trying this one and I actually like it. The only thing I have to say that's a negative for me is the, uh, the scent. I'm just not really crazy about scents in general, but besides that, the coverage is great. It builds beautifully. And I honestly don't even need that much. I know it's like a full-on baking powder, but I feel like I never need so much where I'm like, oh, it's like not like No, it's perfect. Like, it actually really does work really well. And I am a big fan. So, that is how I feel about that. And for bronzer, I'm going to go in with... I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier bronzer in Soleil. This is their matte bronzer. I actually love this one. And I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill because I've just been obsessed with this whole little master collection. I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH102. JH this is very similar to the MAC 135 brush. And I remember watching like an old video of hers and she was, I remember her specifically saying, how much she loved that brush so I'm actually not surprised that she made a brush similar so that's cool I appreciate that because you know it was really taken into thought when um, she made that so I feel like that's really cool to kind of do her own it's a little bit fluffier than the 135 which I appreciate because I like big fluffy brushes for bronzers so, it's interesting, but it's cool. I appreciate it. And always do the jawline. This is a great bronzer, not too orange, not too crazy in any way. I've been loving this blush by Tarte. It's called Tipsy. I'm not even sure if they make it anymore. They should actually be making it. Why, why wouldn't they? Using the JH04. And just putting that on the apples and just bringing it up slightly. And that's just like a really pretty color. Mm, love that. I'm going to finish up the eyes and let's zoom in for this. So we're gonna finish up the eyes. I'm gonna be using that um, mustard color first. I'm just gonna put that underneath there. And then I'm gonna go in with that dark brown, but I just wanna use this as like a transition first. And just like kind of keep it close to the lash line. Nothing too dark or crazy. You see when you put that new, nice transition first, it kind of softens anything that could end up looking super harsh, which I really like. So that is good for that. I'm gonna put actually this gold gold color right here gold gold I'm gonna put that color um, right in the inner corner because obviously we can't have enough shimmer here it's a 
mascara. And yeah, so let's wipe away all this powder. I'm going to use this hourglass brush to do that. Really, really nice. Okay, so let's finish off with the highlighter, the Hustle Baby Money Maker highlighter. I'm going to use that. So let's go in. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M501, mixing them both. Look how gorgeous that looks. So pretty. I go in with Max Hover Lip Liner, oldie but a goodie. And let's zoom in a little bit. Used to be a big, big favorite of mine. I'm gonna use the nude number one from KKW Beauty. And I'm just gonna kinda hat that. This camera keeps dying on me. I'm not sure what's happening, but I'm going to set with the photo finish primer water spray, and we are finishing this look, guys. And that is it, you guys. That is the look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this talk through. I know it's been a while, but I feel like why not start a talk through for my first, well, not my first, my second video in a while. So I feel like it kind of brings me back into things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, so I want to know what you guys want to see for the next few videos. And let me know if you like this video. Be sure to thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe, hit that notification bell because that's very important lately because this whole subscription box thing I'm sure is going so, still going crazy for people, at least going so crazy for me. So be sure to hit that notification bell. And that is it you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.